how do we begin to think about what is appropriate in this space of being equitable? So there are certainly more companies that choose the former path uh, and, and say, you know, we'll have a range and we expect people in the same job to be paid, you know, all within that range. Uh, in some cases, maybe even above, uh, then then there are companies who will say this job pays X. You know, I think uh, th there are some very notable companies who have come out with uh, very formulaic based pay. And so they also happen to be the companies that, you know, get a lot of press for things like pay transparency um, and, and that sort of thing. But the trade off that you make there is that the more transparent you get about pay, the more likely the company is to just apply a formula to everybody. And, you know, I think the the sort of counterpoint to that that a lot of companies will make is, OK, so what, how do I how do I manage performance in that environment if everything is super formulaic or how do I go compete uh, for top talent who may you know, to where our formulas don't really make sense. Because once you introduce some of those formulas, uh, you can't break it, you know, like everybody, 100% of people have to be on it or your entire system is sort of wrecked, you know? Um, uh, so the, um, you know, the idea that, uh, you know, people are going to, or companies are going to prefer, you know, having greater flexibility through the use of pay ranges, like, um, can also create some challenges, you know, for, uh, for a disconnect in how pay is communicated. Uh, because when you aren't terribly prescriptive, you sort of create a vacuum for people to fill in with whatever belief that they want to about pay, you know? And so, Certainly things get missed at companies, you know, like somebody gets left behind, those things can get fixed. Um, and, you know, there's, you know, I could pull up a spreadsheet of any company in the world and probably find some some things that have questions about pretty quickly. Uh, but this is a, uh, you know, an important point about equal pay is that it's not like a one-time fix. You know, this is something where uh, you have to constantly maintain, have good processes and systems in place, you know, to, to identify problem spots um, early. And you have to create mechanisms whereby employees feel safe to say, hey, I think I've got a problem here. Um, can we talk about pay and career? So um, that that sort of uh, uh, that sort of kind of blank space can definitely create challenges for companies. But I understand why they take that route. 